What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are here, and we are checking our reaction video called Very Heavy Cube. Um, so yeah. Uh, just so you know, the last couple videos have been recorded, like, straight in a row. So if I sound less energetic, and my voice is going, that's because I have been talking for literally about three hours straight. <clears throat> and it, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, uh, yeah. Um, so as you can see here, we are checking out heavy, that very heavy cube. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, the videos are uploaded at different times, but they're, like... There's a thing on YouTube where you can, like, schedule them and stuff, so, yeah. Uh, I'm recording these all in a row, which is probably a bad idea. My throat, I'm probably gonna wake up really sore throat. And I saw the coronavirus. I promise. Oh, wait, am I gonna get demonetized because I said that? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, who cares? Um, so, yeah. Um, we're checking out Very Heavy Cube, and, uh, let's go. I'm William. I'm Alan, and we're slow dudes. <laughs> oh, no! In today's experiment, we're going to be dropping things onto other things. Like one specific thing. I, William Osmond, am an <laughs> idiot and bought the most expensive piece of tungsten I could find on oh Amazon. My God. It cost two thousand two hundred dollars and is the heaviest thing you will ever hold in your life that can fit in a four by four inch cube. This is a solid tungsten cube. This cube costs more money than my nineteen ninety eight Ford Taurus station wagon. More money than the camera we're filming this video on. Oh but my less God. Money than what I lost in the stock market. News, for Thank you to Google Play for sponsoring this part of the video. Hello. The Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross is now available for download on Google Play. Yeah, we're, we're not. Yep, nope. Nope. This isn't sponsored. Nope, nope, nope. Moving on. Okay, good. Give me two fun facts about tungsten. Fact number one about tungsten is that it's the densest element that you can just sort of buy off of Amazon. A second fun fact about tungsten, it weighs a ton. Okay, so I find this stuff really cool because I, if you guys know, I'm into really good science. I'm not in really good science stuff. I'm into science stuff, and I think it's really cool what they do with it. Like, just the density of elements. I'm more into the elements type of stuff, not the living and, like, the bio stuff and, like, the, uh... Yeah, you know, stuff like that. I'm more into like the uh, elements, the uh, the uh, like genetical mo not genetic modification of like cells and stuff. I don't speak all science stuff, but it pretty much just means like I'm changing stuff with different stuff. That's pretty much what it is. But um, to make it better or worse, it yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm into. But uh, let's continue. Uh, <laughs> tungsten is so dense, in fact, that four of these. My entire body weight. But William, lead is super heavy. Hell no. You would need almost seven cubes of lead to equal my body weight. What are we gonna do with this really expensive, really dense cube? I don't know. How about uh how about we throw it at things? Yeah, let's throw it at stuff. It's small enough to hold that your wrists and fingers are like barely strong enough to pick it up. Like struggling. The problem is we're all fairly certain that if we drop this, it will go through the deck. Right. And our landlords in this house will kick us out like they did at the last house. <laughs> oh my god! Consistently, we have built this dropping jig, which is just some wood, and we filled the kiddie pool up with sand to soften the impact. Oh! Hopefully, this allows us to hit the same spot over and over again, so we don't have to worry about the cube bouncing or falling or landing in the wrong spot. And then film it in slow motion. That's Wait, is this the slow-mo bros? Hold up. That William Osman. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's continue anyway. Very heavy cube. Producing the things we're going to be smashing. A wide selection of fruits and tropical. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're going to be smashing a pineapple, a watermelon, a cantaloupe, a squash, and a coconut with Tugginston, the densest metal on earth. Oh my god. <laughs> A brand new 55 inch microwave. A real human being who knows about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, you're good. I'm just gonna watch it. 
Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god! That was so violent! <laughs> it was violent. Oh, that was Oh, that is so cool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really into slow-mo things. Just stuff that move so slow and just... Well, just move so slow and just, like, it just... It just the, everything, you can see everything just go... Like, manip manipulating real time. It's so cool. Oh, now you're not going to work on me. I trust you. How bad could you possibly yeah, mess you up? Can't really, that does all the heavy for you. It's so heavy. We can only hear you grunting from down here. Go. Oh! oh God! <laughs> Look at that! It's a coin! Wow. That is very flat. Second floor. There's a whole other floor we can talk <laughs> What? Yeah! Wow. Oh! That is satisfying. Why is he? Wait a minute. Why is he holding a mannequin leg? <laughs> what are you doing? Just why are you? Why? Just why a mannequin leg? Out of everything you could hold, a mannequin leg? <sighs> Excuse me. My fat mouth had to take a yawn. But a mannequin leg, really? Mythbuster Alan Pan, are we ready? Oh, yes, definitely. You think we should test a piece of like wood to make sure that it's not going to go to the deck? Yeah, you got like plywood or something? We're going to try to test a piece of wood just to make sure that it won't go to the deck. Was, you know, what are we doing? Oh my oh, god. My god. Oh my and the god. The cube is like completely unfazed. Oh. I can barely hold this thing up. Alright, get out. Get out. Get. That was pretty centered. Ooh, look at that. And just embed. Oh, satisfaction. <laughs> satisfying. This is so satisfying to me, just watching stuff break in slow motion. Oh, the center block was de dominated. I think it would have punched almost all the way through if it had like less than ten or anything on it. And that's like five. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> it's like uh, a grenade uh, went off in that in that stamp kit. It's, I know it's very. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have. Done. Oh my god, what are they doing? They're like, I'm sorry, I have to pause, but for copyright reasons. But like, they're just like holding. They're acting like it's like 400 pounds, and they're just like, gotta, we gotta move this massive cannon to the battlegrounds. Like, what are you doing? Hell, this is nuts, wouldn't you say? Yeah, coconut. Coconut. You know, coconut's kind of hard to install. Is it really? Yeah, I heard that somewhere. In this experiment, if the tungsten cube crushes the coconut, it also means that it would kill you. Three, two, one. Oh, this is about to be. Oh. Oh. The thud it makes, too. Like, you can't even describe. It's almost like in your chest, like a huge thump. It's good. It's not good. I love how it went. Good. It's not good. And it just starts vomiting. Is that normal? What's this sour? Oh, that is so satisfying, just how everything just booms. Like, it's a coconut, and then it becomes liquid. It tasted like, uh, blue cheese. The coconut. I don't know if that is There was some, I think, that means salty. Yeah. Alright guys, oh, I think that's all I'm actually going to check out of the video. If you guys want to see the rest of the video, there will be a link in the description. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the afterlife. Peace 